Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're looking at the latest update from the MetaQuest ecosystem version 72. The last update of the year and it's a big one. It brings new features that push the Quest 3 and 3S further, including a more seamless integration with Windows 11, similar to what we've seen with the Vision Pro and Mac OS, but at a fraction of the cost. This update is paved to change the way we use VR entirely, so I'll show you how this new feature works and break down why it's such a big deal in this video. I'm Kaz, join me beyond reality. But before I show you what the Windows integration is like, let's kick things off with a quick rundown of what's new in version 72. First up, hand tracking 2.3. Meta's improved hand tracking again, making it feel purportedly more stable, accurate, and easier to use. However, some improvements will roll out gradually, including a more stable hand cursor for menus and pinching, better responsiveness for pinch and drag actions like moving browser tabs, improved tracking in tight spaces like travel mode, and a new hand ray visualization to help with targeting. I like hand tracking updates because it's all about making VR interactions feel more natural. I'm not sure about you, but I catch myself using my hands pretty often when I just need to check on something really quickly. Next up, keyboard tracking for more keyboards. This is a big step forward because instead of being limited to just a few specific models, Meta is rolling out a more general keyboard tracking system. The goal is for Quest to automatically detect and track keyboards in your vicinity, creating a dynamic pass-through window around them so you can see your keyboard while typing in VR. If you use VR for productivity, this could be a really helpful tool. Cool. This feature is also being rolled out gradually, so try it out when you get it. Now, for all my Instagram users out there, direct messaging has arrived on Quest. Insta was already available for browsing your feeds, watching stories and reels, you know what I mean, but now you can slide into someone's DMs, sorry, I had to say it, and even send voice messages without taking off your headset. Personally, I think it's a small but welcome addition since I use Insta a lot, so Having this in VR feels pretty convenient. There's also a new media gallery app, which makes managing your screenshots and videos way easier. You can view everything, organize your captures, and even back them up right from the headset. It's a nice quality of life improvement. Finally, live captions for calls. This is such a great accessibility feature. It adds real-time captions to calls in the People app. So whether you're hard of hearing or just prefer to read along, this makes sure no one misses out on the conversation. That's already a lot of cool upgrades, right? But the highlight of this update and what I'm most excited to show you is the Windows 11 integration. This feature lets you connect your Quest headset to your PC faster and more intuitively than ever, offering tools that feel futuristic at a fraction of the cost of something like the Vision Pro. I'll explain at the end why this matters so much, but first let me show you how it works. I'll walk you through the set up, give you a demo and share my first impressions. But before we dive into that, here's a quick message from the sponsor of this part of the video. Raising your own dinosaur pets in mixed reality? Count me in. In Dino Hub, you're a paleo guard, traveling back in time to rebuild prehistoric habitats. You raise baby dinosaurs from tiny hatchlings to full-grown adults while rebuilding their homes. The cool part, you switch between your real-world space in mixed reality and the late Cretaceous in VR. With mixed reality, you can see your own surroundings blend with the prehistoric world, making it feel like the dinosaurs are right there with you. Just look at how cute they are. But it's not all easy. Storms, volcanic eruptions, and other surprises will keep you on your toes. It's all about solving problems, exploring, and taking care of your dinos. Your generative AI guide, Puck, is there to help you along the way, making sure you always know what to do next. Dino Hub launches this December on the Horizon Store for MetaQuest 3 and 3S. Check it out using the link in the description. 
Okay, let's jump back in and take a closer look at how the Windows 11 integration works. Once everything is set up, Meta says Quest 3 and 3S users, yes, it only works with these two headsets right now, will be able to simply look at their Windows 11 PC in VR and the headset will prompt you to connect automatically. It's a feature that's very similar or maybe exactly a copy to how the Vision Pro connects with a Mac computers. However, unlike the Vision Pro, which benefits from Apple's fully integrated ecosystem, this setup does take a few extra steps. So let me walk you through them. On your PC, first, make sure you meet the hardware requirements. I'll link them below for your reference. You will need a MetaQuest 3 or a 3S and a PC running Windows 11 version 22H2 or newer. Then head to the Microsoft Store and download the Mixed Reality Link app if you haven't already. Once it's installed, just leave your PC unlocked and put on your headset. On the Quest, go to your settings menu in your headset, open advanced settings, and enable the pair to PC with Microsoft Mixed Reality Link experimental feature. Once it's on, your headset should detect your PC and you'll see a pairing prompt floating above your keyboard. From that point on, all you have to do is look at your PC while in VR and it will prompt you to connect automatically. So I actually ran into a bug and I had to restart my headset after turning on that experimental settings uh, before I got this pop up above my keyboard that said pair your PC. And when once I clicked that, I could like go through a setup and scan the QR code on my PC. And now I can actually see my Windows 11 uh, computer in the headset, as you can see right here right now as well. So let's see what we can do here. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that you might have to restart your headset as well. And if that doesn't work, there is still the option to use the remote desktop app that shows up in your library now to manually add your PC. So you can try that as well. But if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments and uh, I'll try to help out. Anyways, let's check out what this uh, Windows uh, 11 interface you can do. Um, okay, so I, I guess I need to drop my controllers. Okay, so this is my Windows PC in my headset and oh, Interesting, I can see that uh, my hand tracking will work as well. So can I actually pinch and pinch here and select something? I don't think that works. Too bad, that would be really awesome. Uh, they should definitely add that. Can I use my controllers? No, it doesn't work with controllers either. So I guess I have to use my mouse and keyboard for this, which is all right, which is fine for now. Okay, let's just go to YouTube and check what the response is like. Let's... Uh, Check out this Vision Pro video. Use it with Windows. Okay, I have a sound in my headset, which is nice. Quality seems good. Responsiveness looks good. I don't see any really noticeable latency. Uh, it looks really sharp. I can read text really well. The resolution seems pretty small though. I think it's like 90, 20, 1080, maybe full HD. I can move this around, which is nice. Can I enlarge this a little bit more? Sort of. Not much more though. Oh, there's a setting cock here. Okay, you can add displays. Nice. You can add three out of three displays and you can forward computer audio or you can turn it off if you would like. Some freedom in, in changing the size, but not really. The ratio will stay the same as you can see. I get those black borders when I enlarge them. Okay, this is not perfect, but it is cool. Okay, okay, I'm gonna pull the tab right here. And then, yeah, this is my script. How about I put my scripts, yeah, here. So now the mouse is not in the correct position, but you just, in Windows 11, go to right click display settings and you can uh, change where the displays are. So this one is on top, three is below. And if I save this mouse and everything will be correct. So I can easily navigate around. I gotta say, it, it is really, really nice, really well done. Really hope that they add more features in here. It feels responsive. I think this could be a really viable way to actually start working. I hope they will add more features, like actually add hand tracking in there, being able to use controllers. Uh, who knows, maybe in the future there will be eye tracking as well. More features, like what I like from the Vision Pro is stuff like the shared clipboard. You can actually copy and paste stuff from the native uh, Vision Pro apps to uh, the MacBook and it just makes it feel like everything is more integrated. I'm not sure if it's possible yet in the Quest, but I hope 
table at the feature because then this whole setup is gonna be a serious contender and I'm super excited. I'll admit it's not quite as seamless as the Vision Pro. I mean, Apple's tight integration means fewer steps to get started, but this is still a simple process once you've got it set up. But I do think it's definitely a bit of a threshold, but worth it for the functionality it brings. Now, keep in mind that Meta and Microsoft, it's a collaboration between the two. They are calling this an experimental and preview feature. So don't be surprised if there are a few rough edges while they work out the kinks. So why does this update matter so much? First, portability. With this, you're no longer tied to a desk or traditional monitors. This isn't just a home office tool. You can take this VR workspace anywhere. Whether you're working from a cafe, a co-working space, or even on the go, your immersive setup comes with you. That kind of flexibility is huge, especially with remote work and digital nomads becoming more common. Second, accessibility. The Quest 3S starts at $300 and brings advanced mixed reality capabilities, features we've seen in high-end devices like Apple's Vision Pro at a fraction of the cost. So you don't need a $3,500 setup to experience desktop integration in VR, making these tools available to a much wider audience. And here's another important point. While Apple's Vision Pro has been getting attention for its seamless integration with the Apple ecosystem, the majority of the world runs on Windows. Windows. By focusing on creating a similar experience for Windows users, Meta has positioned the Quest as a real alternative. It's no longer just a gaming or entertainment device, it's becoming a serious productivity tool for platforms that most people rely on every day. When you combine this with updates like expanded keyboard tracking, it's clear Meta is bridging the gap between entertainment and practicality. And that potential is enormous, especially as more people explore spatial computing. And as someone who has been working in VR for a while, I know this isn't a fun feature or a gimmick, so I think this is exciting. What do you think? Does this kind of integration make you more interested in using VR for work or creativity? Let me know in the comments. And if you try this feature, don't forget you can share your feedback with Meta, report bugs in your headset, or file feedback for the Mixed Reality Link app. I mean, any feedback you give to Meta will help us all. So let's go. Oh, and one more thing. Quest software updates roll out gradually. So if you don't see the update right away, you can check your settings. But don't worry, it will make its way to your headset soon. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe to support us and much love.